Unlocking idioms for a song. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase for a song. This idiom is a colorful part of the English language, and understanding it will not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insight into the cultural nuances of English speaking countries. So, let's dive in and discover what it means when something is bought or sold for a song. The phrase, for a song, means to buy or obtain something at a very low price, much less than its actual value. Imagine getting something for the price of a cheap song. It's a metaphorical expression suggesting that the item is as inexpensive as a simple tune. The idiom, for a song, has been part of the English language for centuries, with its first recorded use dating back to the 16th century. It is believed to come from the days when musical performances were common but not highly valued in monetary terms, thus linking the idea of songs to low cost. To help you understand how to use, for a song, let's look at some examples. I can't believe I bought this vintage car for a song, it was such a great deal. During the clearance sale, shoppers could buy designer clothes for a song. This idiom is used in casual conversation and writing to express that someone has made a particularly good deal. It's not typically used in formal contexts but is perfect for storytelling or sharing experiences with friends. A common misunderstanding might occur if someone takes the phrase literally. Remember, for a song, is not about music transactions, it's about getting a bargain. So, when you hear it, think of exceptional deals, not literal songs. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you're now more comfortable with the phrase, for a song. Next time you snag a bargain, you'll know exactly how to describe it in English. Keep practicing, and you'll be speaking like a native in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.